Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. This is something that you can, uh, I think, pre-order. I'll link it uh, down in the description so that you guys can check it out if you want to. Thanks so much to Urban EDC Supply for sending this in for me to take a look at. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I know what it is. I just haven't handled it. Uh, so we're going to experience We're going to experience this together. Let's go ahead and get all the way. Oh, that's different. Hey, that's kind of uh, that's kind of cool. Devo knives. Let's take a look here. Look at this. <laughs> I appreciate them mixing it up on the zipper pouch, right? It's not like I'm gonna carry the zipper pouch with me, but we've uh, we've seen the same like kind of black zipper pouch forever, right? And we got a little, we got some stuff in here. Do they all come with little keychain bottle openers? That's kind of cool. Oh yes. So far, aesthetically, everything I like except for the pocket clip. But, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you the information on screen because, as you know, I can never freaking remember and I do these unboxings blind, right? So I just like to open the package up and go for it. Um, but, yeah, uh, there's the information there on it, and you'll be able to go down into the, uh, the description and... Um, uh, actually check this thing out for yourself. I think the pre-order is up or it's actually available on the website. I just can't remember. This is somebody who's in our own... God, that is smooth. <laughs> yeah, let me move this so it's not... It's trying to focus on that. That is ridiculously smooth. This is somebody who's in our own sort of YouTube, Instagram, Knife World community. Um, and uh, Matt, I'm so sorry. You gave me the details and I just... I got excited, and I came down here, and I opened it up, right, and then I forgot everything. So, um, but yeah, this is really beautiful, and I'll tell you what, right off the bat, um, I'm really happy with this ergonomic space in here. This is really nice. We kind of have a, uh, a choil that's half on the blade and half on the handle, and that's really nice because you can make, it feels very natural to choke up on this thing. That's exactly why I asked to check this one out, is because right here, that little spot right there, I said, yeah, that's that's nice. That's a nice way to do that, and it's going to be comfortable. It looks like it's blocky, but these areas right here are nicely knocked down. And the pocket clip, it, I mean, aesthetically, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but because of the shape of it, it's not a hot spot. Unfortunately, it has a bill that kind of slopes downward, so you might have to fight that a little bit in your pocket. You can absolutely access that little thumb... I don't know. It looks like the, it looks like the, the side window of a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have this sort of, um, I don't know if you want to call this like a, not not a toucan bill, but it looks like maybe a dodo bill or something like that. It's a sheep's foot or, man, you know, some people have, well, it's worn clip. Well, it's a sheep's worn. It's a worn sheep, right? It's a, it's a shocktopus. It's a googly moogly, right? Whatever you want to call, whatever you want to call this blade classification police, right? Please inform us. We can't wait to hear. Here it is, this blade shape. Now, are they all polished like this on the edge? Boy, that is, uh, that's real nice. I don't know who makes these, have no idea. Uh, feels like most likely overseas production, right? Or Chinese production. Um, I do definitely appreciate the tumbled finish on this. Really nice, definitely. Really nice, actually. Really, really nice. They've knocked the inside of this down really, really well. This area right here, despite the fact that you are disengaging that I mean, faux bolster lock or subframe lock or whatever. I don't know, right? How, however you say it. You can see what it is, right? We can dance around classifications all day, but here's what it is, right? The lock is actually part of the frame. Uh, it's just partially covered by the overlay, right? People will be like, here's the classification. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, um, yeah, you can see how, you know, the disengagement, the area where you disengage is sort of sloping up to this peak right here, which is okay because he has scalloped both sides out. So it's actually still pretty comfortable and you can see there where it is falling. Like if you're going to disengage right here, it'll fall. That choil will fall right on your thumb. That's actually really, this is very nicely designed. Definitely. What's the uh, length on this guy? 
Overall length, seven and a half. Let's put it up against the bug out and rat two, just real quick. There we go. This is the general ballpark of knife that you're looking at here. I like this one a lot. I don't, does the pouch come with the thing that says what it is? You know what, it does come with this. The Devo Stout. <laughs> I could have just looked at the sticker. Devo Stout. Okay. It's cool that they give you a bottle opener. And I'm, I'm honestly really impressed with the uh, with the pouch here, right? Um, but uh, yeah, this is very cool. Very exciting. This is not a review at all. Not a review. This would be a terrible review. This is an unboxing and first impressions. You guys will get a full comprehensive review probably two to three uh, two to three weeks down the road. But seriously, first impressions on this are very, very good. If this appeals to you aesthetically, I can tell you, you're probably going to like it in hand. I mean, it's very straightforward, very ergonomic. And, you know, honestly, for day-to-day -day EDC, this size of knife and this shape of blade is pretty much ideal. Really nice. Nice choice of materials. Nice aesthetic. It's just real clean. If all those blades are polished like that... <laughs> if all the blades are polished like that, that's a nice touch. I just really want to... I don't know. I don't know that they're... I don't know if this was like his personal one, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So... Really, really clean. Really, whoops, caught the uh, edge of the toil there. Um, but we are, yeah, we're slicing very, very cleanly uh, through paper here. No real drag or anything like that. But again, I wonder if that's the actual production edge. It's just a lot more polished than what I normally see on knives of this caliber, right? Real nice though. Gosh, if they all come like that, that's impressive. <laughs> okay, that's it for the unboxing and first impressions. Really cool. Of course, check out Devo Knives. Just use a link down in the description if you want to check this out. We'll leave it down there for your convenience and because when you use my links, it, it absolutely supports my channel. But that's up to you. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.